What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Eshi and I want to start this off by saying thank you so much for 1000 subscribers. I am over the moon. But let's get into why you're here today, which is for my office slash guest bedroom makeover. This is the second video in my apartment makeover series. So if you wanna see the first video, I will leave a link right here. And coming up next may be the living room and dining room. So don't forget to hit the like button on this video and subscribe for that video coming up. So we are fortunate enough to have two bedrooms here in our San Diego apartment. Back in Detroit, we only had one bedroom, so we had to keep our bed and our desk both in the main bedroom. And back in Detroit, in that bedroom, we actually set up this dual desk setup. And I will leave a link to the video right here because actually a lot of people found it super helpful. But we set up this big desk for both Chumley and I to sit in and work at. When we were Moving into this space and I saw that we were gonna get a second bedroom, I immediately knew that I wanted to move the desk away from our main bedroom into that second bedroom. Listen, Chumley is sometimes up at all hours of the night working on his computer on that desk and I just cannot stand sleeping next to that, that noise and that light any longer. So. I knew I had to make the move. And at the same time, because I knew we were moving to San Diego, which is further away from Michigan and also kind of like a vacation spot, right? I knew we would have a fair amount of guests here. So that second bedroom would also have to function as a guest bedroom. And honestly, I knew people would wanna come visit us in San Diego and stay for free. So really, I knew the second bedroom was going to have to be a multi-purpose room. Taking a look at the space I had to work with, it's honestly a great size. It's a little bit bigger than 10 by 12 feet. It has a little weird corner nook. It has a great size closet and a great view out of the window. It's facing the east towards the mountains and there's actually a high rise being built next door. So we're soaking up the view for as long as we can before it's obstructed a little bit. We knew we'd have to fit both our massive desk and at least a queen sized bed in here queen size because we wanted our guests to be as comfortable as possible. I knew whatever bed I got would have to be either a Murphy bed or a pullout couch. And the majority of the time, the space would be used as an office anyway, since both of us work remotely. So something that could be tucked away and take up the least amount of space possible, that would be ideal. Murphy beds that I was looking into, they didn't look that great, especially for the price. So I settled on this Ikea Farlov pullout couch in this dark green velvet. And we had it delivered pretty soon after we did our cross country move because we actually didn't have a bed to sleep on at that point and we were sleeping on the floor. So this mattress worked out really nicely. And I'll leave a link to my moving playlist if you want to go see that. But we definitely needed at least two sets of hands to build this, that's for sure. Then it was time to set up our dual desk. Chumley insisted on the desk facing the window because we actually have a perfect view of all of the planes lining up to touch down at the airport. And he wanted to be able to see that while he was looking up from his computer. I personally wanted the desk up against the wall opposite of the couch, just for like, you know, interior design sake. But you know what? Compromise is the crux of a relationship, you guys. <laughs> Just to show you another view of all of the wires that we're working with, I mean, yeah. We got two major setups on the same desk, so it's just chaos, chaos. So we're gonna do our best to do some cable management and get this looking beautiful, up to my standards at least. So we'll see how that goes. Really the first plan is we got these um, these things that we're gonna stick to the back of the table that actually just hold all of the wires. I'll leave all of the, the links down below of what we're using, but really we don't have a method to anything. We're just gonna try and stick all the wires in the right places, make them go into the thing that's gonna stick right here that's holding all the wires, plug into all of our computer setups, and just have nothing really hanging down below where you can see it, so wish us luck. Honestly, my main goal was to cut down on the number of wires hanging in different places and that were visible. Chumley and I both have pretty intense PC setups, so I knew it wouldn't be perfect. And we only really had to worry about how the wires looked from the front side, like when you entered the room. So I'll definitely leave links to what we used in the description box below in case it helps you with your cable management journey. So 
So I had to put the pullout couch on this wall so that it didn't obstruct the door from opening. And since the desk went by the window, this was pretty much the only wall left. So I kind of wanted to make it a feature wall. And I found this amazing wallpaper off of Etsy and I'll link it down below. And I thought it would go perfect with the green of the pullout bed. And it also had this kind of vintagey gold hue to it, which inspired me to get these two gold floor lamps that went on the sides of the couch. If you want a more in-depth video of how I apply peel and stick wallpaper, I'll link it right here because I'm pretty much a pro at this point. I used peel and stick wallpaper in my old Detroit apartment and I used it in two different rooms in this new apartment, which that's definitely a teaser for my bedroom makeover coming. So don't forget to subscribe so you can see my bedroom reveal as well, where I use some other beautiful wallpaper. And from there, it was just a few more decorative and functional touches. I definitely wanted to give my cats a space to call their own in here since they love hanging out with us and we'd be spending so much time in here. If you have no idea what I'm doing here with this tape, I am about to drop a pro tip on you, so stay tuned. <laughs> Basically what I do here is I take the tape and I mark out where the holes will have to be drilled. I also kind of mark where the edges of my floating shelf are gonna be. And then I put that piece of tape on the wall and that helps me see if you know that's the spot that I actually want to drill holes into. And in this case, I'm using a laser level as well as a regular level just to kind of double check if that's really where I want my placement. Let me know in the comments down below if you knew of this trick beforehand because it's definitely saved me in a couple instances in this apartment, that's for sure. So let's take a quick look back at what it used to look like because honestly, after all of this work, I forgot what it used to look like. Just blank walls and a blank floor plan. And here is the grand reveal. You guys, I am more than thrilled to show you this space and I am so grateful that I get to call this my office. I will say putting a desk up against a window, not the best aesthetic choice, right? But for us, it really does work. Being able to look up every few minutes from your work and being able to see an airplane fly across your window, I mean, that is such an amazing view that I just can't complain. And I think that we did a pretty good job with hiding as many wires as we really could. I, I will tell you, the white office chair, the white, black, and red office chair, oh my god, it'll be the bane of my existence, but eventually, maybe I'll be able to convince Trumley to switch over to a to a prettier office chair. <laughs> we'll see. Being able to have a couch in your office, if you guys ever get the chance to do this, oh my god, I 100% recommend it. You can just chill on the couch if you have a free moment. You can take your laptop to the couch if you have a free moment. It is the best thing ever. Not to mention the dual function of this couch turning into a bed. Like, our guests freaking love it, and I love it. It is so aesthetically pleasing and it still gives us enough space to walk around and still use our desk when guests are over. So isn't that the dream to have a perfectly functioning multi-purpose room? I am in love with this space. All right, guys, what do you think? Do you think I made that space work for all of the different needs that we have? Now, I will say in the six-ish months that we've been here so far, we've had maybe around seven to eight guests. So that's like averaging more than a guest a month. And they've all loved their bed. And on the other hand, we use that room as an office every single day, even sometimes when guests are staying with us. So I think for that purpose, 
it's worked out pretty perfectly. And our cats are loving the view and spending that time with us during the workday. So I think this multi-purpose room is being fully utilized. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What was your favorite part of this makeover? Do not forget to hit subscribe so you can see the rest of my makeover series as they come out every week. Thank you so much for watching today and I will see you guys next time.